Hello. Um, I am wondering, and it's kind of taking off of a gentleman who was here a little bit earlier, uh, by way of the um, tuning in and frequency, is there an exact frequency, an exact note, so to speak, that would help us put us in alignment more quickly? Is that what the CD does? Why is my head tingling like crazy? <laughs> this is really bizarre. Okay. Turn to it. Turn to it. Okay. <laughs> Not to that. Yeah, that. <laughs> Just now, as Karen and Esther were sitting in Esther's hotel suite, Esther was explaining to Karen how this morning, while she was meditating, that she was focusing upon the sounds in the room. And Esther said, listen right now, can you hear that little sound that almost sounds like a broken light bulb when you shake it? A very high mm -hmm. sort of sound. And Karen listened and could hear it. And then Esther said, and, and now listen, can you hear the compressor in the air conditioner? A, a, a bigger, deeper, more rumbling sound. Of course she could hear it. And then Esther said, and somewhere right in the middle is like the sound of water running through the unit. Can you hear that? And they were laughing because when they focused on those things, they could hear them. And yet it was just a sort of noise in the room until they began deliberately isolating the sounds. Mm -hmm. So in every moment in time, there are different things going on that you can focus upon. And that core vibration when you get right to the core of it it isn't something that you hear that's a manifestation it isn't even something that you think that's a manifestation it's something that you feel that's an emotion but even a, an emotion is a manifestation so you just have to decide you just have to jump in somewhere mm -hmm. and bring yourself to feeling it but it's tuning yourself that core vibration is not the absence of thought but it's the absence of resistant thought and we've discovered as we've been interacting with so many of our human friends that it's easier to teach you to have no thought than it is to have pure pure thought or resistance free thought but after a while you can tune yourself to it so now ask your question again it was a very specific is there a note? Is there a note? And, and I use the word note because but, that's something that. But even human, a note is an interesting thing, that. isn't it? So, is there a note? Can you hear the note in love? Using the word love doesn't even seem to apply to music, but it is a vibrational discernment. And a note is a vibrational discernment. So, would you say that love is a more subtle and more basic vibrational discernment than? Mm. A440, which is what that chime is. Hmm. Now, I was wondering about the chime. We know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I was wondering if that... So I guess I'm just... Um, are you saying that it's different for every person? We are saying it is different for every person and even different for any person in any moment because you're constantly living life and putting more in the vortex. So your vortex is in a constant state of expansion and the source within you is in a constant state of becoming and you are in a constant new relationship with that new state of becoming. So don't try to make a science out of it and don't try to think your way through it. Just feel your way to it with these simple decisions that say, I'm going to feel as good as I can as often as I can. That's, that's the plan. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to use the power of my mind to discover it. I'm not going to demand circumstances around me to evolve and change and please me. I'm going to do it with my ability to tune and focus. So that means there could be a lot of things going on in your life. And let's say most of them aren't working out very well. And one of them is wonderful. If you will use that wonderful one as your reason to tune as you tune to the frequency of something wonderful relative to something in your life that's your frequency and now the other less wonderful things either have to leave or change don't you love knowing that 
But there's a human tendency to say, well, that's wonderful, but that isn't. And that's wonderful, but that isn't. And that what isn't. Happens? I need to go to a class on how to make those wonderful things wonderful. <laughs> and we say, the class is short and sweet. Ignore mm -hmm. those unwonderful things. <laughs> but I can't ignore them. They're loud. They're in my face. They're driving past me and running over my toes and ringing the bell in my ear. I, I, can't, I cannot ignore them. We say, yes, you can. You're just not, you're just not focused in a way. And at first, it takes effort to ignore and guide thoughts. It takes deliberate determination. But once you get hold of a vibrational frequency and you practice it, now the grid will fill in, the grid will fill in. So it's only, think about it theoretically, it's only initially that you might have to reach for a feeling just because you want it. But when you accomplish it, the grid will fill in, which will make it easier to keep it going. And that's why we teach meditation. If we can convince you to quiet your mind and release resistance and find that core vibration, we know for sure the grid will fill in with something wonderful and mm -hmm. then you'll be off and running. So conceptually, you could just have no thought. Meditation is a better choice than a lobotomy. <laughs> you could have no thought, quiet your mind, find that vibration. And then the grid will fill in. We promise you that it will. And then as you observe that good feeling manifestation, now you're off and running. And then more and more and more will come. But of course, there are enough different things going on in your life and you have enough different grids going on that it's logical and all right because you planned it that way that contrast will show itself to you. Because contrast, oh, <laughs> contrast is in the basic, the desire for physical contrast in this physical body was in your non-physical grid in your non-physical grid when you came hmm. how about that okay. in your non-physical grid when you came there was a complete understanding and embracing of contrast hmm. because you knew without it you could not see without it you could not hear if there were not contrast in the notes the music would be not musical okay if there were not contrast in your world you could not define so you came with contrast wanted contrast in your grid you just planned on being really good at discerning and guiding because you didn't come to endure absence of things wanted you came to identify them and line up with them and embrace them and experience them because you are a creator okay one, one more thing then the, so if I'm looking at my world just right this second and not feeling a lot of good in many things but my little dogs make me thrilled and happy do I just is focus that what you're on saying? them focus Let on the them thrill I know that sounds so basic and well, corny and stupid well, but here's the th and here's the question that we want to throw back to you so when we're telling you go to that centered place mm -hmm. and let the emotion of that then fill in with other things mm -hmm. so do you think that what we're saying to you is pick that one thing or those two things mm -hmm. pick 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 the the easy to feel good subject of these little dogs and use it as your basis for offering a vibration of love mm -hmm. friendship harmony and well-being mm -hmm. and as you hold that vibration then the grid must fill in with other things like it that will go more specifically beyond the relationship that you have with these dogs mm -hmm. okay makes sense seems too simple doesn't yeah. it <laughs> Just, <laughs> does. the power of the dog yes <laughs> okay I the distraction right. of yes. the dog that's what the beasts of your planet provide mm -hmm. far more than the food that they provide for you and for one another they are energy balancers mm -hmm. because okay. they predominantly know well-being and focus there okay. takes strong uh, stuff Jerry said to Esther on so many occasions if you didn't have the word thingy or stuff you couldn't talk to me <laughs> there's so much stuff that 
has the potential of getting your attention and so you want to use your ability to focus emotionally okay do you agree that everything you want is because you want the feeling that you believe will come with it and can't you find within everything that you are saying that you want and we're not questioning that you want it because you've been around for a long time you're able to see a lot of manifestations around you there are a lot of people that are providing examples of a good life around you and so as you look and you say it is that manifestation that I want do you have the ability to then identify and the why the reason that I want that is because I believe it will feel and then state that emotional word and then try to find if you can something in your life experience that already feels that way and use that as your focal point to help you stabilize in that energy and it is our promise to you that more things like it will flow until eventually there will be only things that you are appreciating and then you will live your life moving from then your contrast will be from really good to really really good instead of from really really good to really really bad you, okay. you your on that emotional scale your discernment will be more subtle okay you mean it won't be feel like such an extreme oh when of where I've when been. like I feel like I was just I was going with that flow that stream was carrying me and I was having a good time and then I don't know I hit a dam or something it's all right <laughs> it's all right so if you'll focus upon how that felt you'll be right back there but if you focus upon what the stumbling block block was then you stumble over it and then you, and you create a grid and then the universe says oh you're aware of that stumbling block don't forget this one don't forget this one. Oh, here's one you've never seen before yeah. and here's another and here's another right. and oh here's a right. whole group of people have an online chat they'll all talk to you about it <laughs> okay excellent okay. thank you yes indeed thank you very much.